Okay, first up, we have a public hearing for a proposed water system rate adjustment for Common Corporation. We'll now declare this public hearing open, public meeting open. We will open with anyone who would like to speak uh, in favor of this. Uh, we'll give you 10 minutes to speak, uh, anyone after you, three minutes, and then we will open the floor to anyone who is opposed to this and let them speak. If you would, when you approach the microphone, state your name and address for the record, please. I'm Aaron Brown, Chief Financial Officer at Conway Corp, 650 Locust, here in Conway. I would like to speak in favor of this rate recommendation. So I'll show you this presentation here. So as part of this rate process that we went through, we uh, went through the different rate setting principles we believe that they should be cost-based and equitable, meet the full revenue requirements of the utility, which includes operation and maintenance expense, capital expenditures, debt service, and cash reserves. Should be easy to understand and administer. They're generally accepted techniques and stable in providing adequate revenues to meet all of our financial requirements. Factors driving the need for this adjustment our last rate proposal that we brought was 2016. We have had inflationary cost increases that have been unexpected over the past few years that I know everyone has been feeling. Our 2024 budgeted operations and maintenance expenses are up 35% compared to 2019. At the time that we brought that rate proposal, we estimated approximately 2 million per year for capital expenditures. Over the past four years, we have been in the three to four million dollar range per year. And these increases were related to replacing aging infrastructure as we um, went along and with the street improvements. Other factors, prudent financial planning assures adequate reserve levels. The credit rating agencies recommend 150 to 180 days cash on hand which is approximately $4 million for us, and currently we're sitting at only 62 days. We also want to promote conservation. Currently, our residential rates include a declining block once you exceed 20,000 gallons. We would also act, like to ask to add watershed protection. This will be a new section in the rates that I will discuss more here in just a minute. We have aging water mains that we need to proactively um, cover those needs. We also need to meet the needs of the growing city. I know that Conway was the fastest growing city in Arkansas in 2022. Here are some of our upcoming projects. This rate increase does not contemplate any of these projects in there. We have a water treatment plant expansion of approximately $39 million. We will use retired debt, the funds from those, to cover this project. We are in the process of getting a loan for 1.75%. Um, current rates that you would be able to get right now, this would save us approximately $11 million in interest expense. And this also includes seven and a half million in principal and interest forgiveness. And that project is planned for 2024. We're also looking at a new raw water line from Brewer Lake, approximately 25 to 30 million in the 25 to 26 year time frame. And then we're also looking at long-term water supply from Greer's Ferry and a water treatment plant in the northeast area of Conway in 2030 to 2031. Watershed protection that I mentioned earlier, this includes timber thinning and controlled burning. We have property owners in the area that have agricultural operations. This could help cover land acquisition or conservation easements. Tree planting, we also have a contract with UCA to monitor water quality that has been in place since 2019. As I mentioned earlier, we've had cost increases of approximately 35% from 2019 actuals to our 2024 budget. We did note on the distribution line for 2024, that does include tank painting for $350,000. That does not occur every year. But if you were to take that out, we would still have a 40% increase from 2019 to 2024. We ran our revenue requirements analysis. 
You can see the revenues up there, an increase of 6.5% to 25, 4.3% to 26. This does contemplate some increases in industrial usage over the next few years. Whenever you look at those uses of funds, the treatment, distribution, accounting and collection, admin and general expenses, then you also look at our capital expenditures and debt service over the next few years, you can see our day's cash on hand does not reach that 150 to 180 day recommendation, which is why we are here this evening. With the 7% rate increase that we are proposing, again, looking at those same numbers, except with that increase going into effect April 1st, 24, you can see that that gets our day's cash on hand to 122 by the end of 24, and then we reach that 150 day mark by the end of 2025, and we maintain that for the next few years. Looking at the rate design, some key assumptions. We did not propose any changes to our classes of service. So we'll still, still see residential, commercial, industrial, institutional. All of the rate classes will be receiving equal adjustments of 7% across the board. And we will continue to do rate indexing by consumer price index or 3%, whichever is lower. <clears throat> All of the components, including our customer charge and our consumption charge, will receive equal percentage adjustments. We're also proposing to remove that declining block from the residential rate class over 20,000 gallons of use to help promote that conservation, and then also adding that watershed protection. So moving on to the different rate classes, looking at residential, again, 7% across each aspect there. We have the customer charge, which is a fixed charge based on the size of meter you have. And then we have the consumption charge. Again, we did have a declining block. We're proposing removing that. So with the 7% increase, that would be the $4.44, no matter how much usage you have. And looking at benchmarking, currently, if you look at our uh, average customer who uses approximately 5,000 gallons per month, that would be a bill of about $28. With this increase, that would bump it up to $31. So you're looking at approximately a $3 increase. And again, this amount includes the watershed protection fee. So for residential, that would be $1. So that's one of the $3 goes to the watershed. <clears throat> and you can see here, looking at surrounding areas, we've got Beaver Fork, Bologna, Mayflower, Greenbrier. All of those there you can see are higher than our current rates. Um, these rates came from last fall, and we are aware that several of these are considering rate increases themselves. Moving on to commercial and industrial. Again, 7% on the customer charge and 7% on the consumption charge. Also for institutional, customer charge and consumption charge, 7% increase each. Multifamily rate design, again, 7%. You will notice that the customer charge here is higher. As the name suggests, that's because one meter will be for multiple customers. We have a few other miscellaneous rates. Some people have fire protection systems. We also have hydrant meters. Again, that's 7% across the board. And then the watershed protection fees. You can see that the majority of our customers will receive a $1 per month per meter fee. So you're looking at $12 per year for our residential customers. And we, in our analysis, determined that we needed between three and $400,000 per year to manage our watershed. And this amount gets us to that level. So in conclusion, again, I would just like to stress that this rate adjustment is necessary given the increases in our operations and maintenance expenses our increased capital expenditures, and again, the replacement of all of our aging infrastructure to help mitigate any potential system issues. We're always planning for future water supply. We feel that that is very critical, especially if we want the city to continue to grow.
So I would recommend this rate adjustment as approved by our Conway Court Board of Directors. Council, you have any questions for Mr. Brown? Thank you, sir. Would anyone else like to speak in favor? Okay, we'll go. Would anyone like to speak in opposition to this rate increase? Okay, since no one else has come forward for either, we will now declare this public meeting closed. Council, we'll uh, 